What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. I have a pretty awesome video for you today, especially for current TrackMan IO home users, and then also those looking at TrackMan IO home. There are some exciting new updates I'm gonna release to you here in just a few minutes. But not only that, ever since we started covering the TrackMan IO, I get a lot of emails and I get a lot of suggestions. And quite a few of those suggestions were, can you just please do a video breaking down the differences between the TrackMan IO home and then the complete packages. Well, we're going to do all that in this video today. So basically everything you should know, if you are comparing TrackMan IO Home versus TrackMan IO Complete, which one should you buy? All right, what all does it include? What are the differences? So we're gonna break all that down. So, you know, be patient, stay tuned. I know this video is a little unconventional, but I hope it's gonna be educational and useful to all of you guys so you can learn everything you need to know to make a very good buying decision. All right, that's the goal, you know, and I really appreciate everybody that's reached out to make these suggestions as well. So let's first talk about the original unit I covered, the TrackMan 4, all right? That is a dual radar, uh, it does have a camera inside of it unit that sits behind the ball, minimum of seven feet indoors. Uh, and actually the camera wasn't being used for tracking initially. Uh, they actually unlocked that feature several years in, that OERT, Optically Enhanced Radar Tracking. And I'll just cover a few quick things on TrackMan 4. You can watch my videos and learn more about that if you're interested in that unit and what the difference is between the I.O. But the main thing is, this unit sitting behind you, all right, it does have a smaller hitting area, does need to be within a smaller square. If you were in an offset environment, it would be difficult. You'd have to move the unit back and forth. Um, so that's something to consider. Uh, the balls, you do need to either have a metal dot or an RCT ball is what's preferred uh, to get the best spin reading because the radar is actually watching the ball fly. Another important thing to point out, you need a certain distance of ball flight, eight feet minimum, uh, recommended 10, especially for higher ball speeds. It needs to see the metal moving. That's how it's getting that reading of spin. Now that's not how it gets spin access. All right, and I always wanna be upfront on this and you know, give you guys the best information. The reason the TrackMan 4 needs a lot of light indoors, and I know some people may not you know, look at the installation instructions, um, but you need a lot of light and it actually gives you the lumens that you need both at the hitting area and in the front and in the rear of where your hitting area is. And the reason is because it's using the camera and it's gathering as much information as possible, including the impact location. All right, and that is how it calculates spin access. So it's very important to have the right amount of light. Now, as you've seen in my videos with the proper setup, it actually does an excellent job. It just needs to have all that data. If you're missing impact location, for instance, or you're not getting all of the available data, then you could be sacrificing the accuracy of that unit. Now, does it provide a ton of data, especially club data? Heck yeah, I mean, for the coach or fitter out there that wants to go all the way, I mean, that's the unit providing the most, all right? But just know that you need to meet those requirements to have it perform at its best. Now, when they introduced TrackMan IO, the whole goal of this is the IO, indoor optimized. That thing has a massive camera inside of it along with infrared and radar, and that allows it to zoom in on the ball and actually measure the golf ball. No special markings needed on the ball or the club for that matter, for the club data that uh, it can provide in the complete version. We'll talk about that in a second. But it also gives this huge hitting area so you could actually be offset, you know, and I have all that, you know, check out my first look video of the IO. We go over a lot of specifics, you know, give you guys demonstrations, everything, even sit with Jacob Monk, head of Endora at TrackMan, um, you know, but let's break down the differences on the home versus complete. I know that that's the most important thing to a lot of people, so let's just go ahead and give you a rundown. Then we're gonna talk about the update that's coming that I think a lot of people would be excited about, especially current home users or those looking. But let's talk about pricing first. So, TrackMan IO starts at $13,995 for the home version. If you wanna go with the complete version, it's $21,495. Now they both also have subscription models on top of that, so you can have access to all of the software. The home is $700 a year, and then the complete is $1,100 a year. Now, what are the differences between all of these? Well, let's start with what the home is going to get you. All right, the home is going to get you a fully functioning unit. All right, uh, same exact hardware, no difference from the complete unit. All right, the difference is, is what available you know, data and software that you have. 
That's the difference. So you're still gonna get that new range that I showed you guys in the first video, and you're going to get the swing path video as well. So when you're out in the new range, you'll have that swing path video. You'll get target practice, on course practice, and then you're also gonna get uh, 30 games, I'm sorry, 30 courses, three games. Uh, you're gonna get access to tournaments, and then also the new online play. Now the big thing I wanna point out there is this new update that's coming. It's gonna take you from 30 courses all the way up to 50 courses. I think they're really trying to add some value and show you guys that that subscription that you're paying for is ongoing development. So there are going to be things that will be continually added as you go. All right, so starting today, if you're a home subscriber, you now have 50 courses in your library and they'll be adding more. I'm sure they can't you know, set dates and tell you exactly how many courses will be added, but they'll be adding more. You'll go from three games to four games and they talked about adding more games. All right, so uh, big, big difference now for people that want to go with the TrackMan IO home version. All right, and you know, this, like I said, is giving you the same accuracy of ball data. It's giving you that swing path video, which can really give you an idea of what your club's doing and what's going on. And then it allows you for full simulation golf. That includes putting and chipping. I had a lot of people ask about that. Putting and chipping works, works just fine. All right, um, you have full simulation golf. And now obviously a lot more courses too. Now, for those of you that are comparing the complete, all right, and that does have a, a higher subscription, $1,100. Well, that's going to include shot analysis. Shot analysis, that more in-depth version uh, of software inside of TPS. All right, I've shown you guys this before, where you can have swing cameras, um, where you can have you know data-centric you know uh, tiles over on the right, split it up, and that also allows you to take all those different modules, um, and most of them are available in an extended screen. So I've shown you guys how I have stuff put up on my third monitor. If that's something you need, you want to have that swing path video up on a third monitor while you're out playing virtual golf, um, or you want to have data tiles or whatever it may be, you do need the complete version. All right, and that's going to give you access to extended screens. Um, on top of that, you're going to get a new performance center that we showed you guys at the uh, 2024 PGA show down in Orlando, uh, that new performance center kind of shows you strokes gained and things that were really a great way to practice with purpose. Um, you do need the complete version if you want access to the new performance center. All right, now same exact access to everything else that, that home comes with, just all those additional features, including club data. All right, so let's touch on that really quick. Um, they've already released more club data points. Will more be coming? All I can tell you is, is they told me when I asked a specific question that this unit will be going through ongoing development. So they're trying their best to unlock everything possible out of this unit. But you can see that now they added club path and club speed that they didn't have before. Now they have that. So you're getting face angle, club path, club speed. I think it's dynamic loft, um, you know, a very good robust amount of club data that most people, I mean, it's plenty to work on your game. All right, so maybe someone's doing fittings, they might say, well, I need TrackMan 4. You know, um, currently a lot of people ask about angle of attack on TrackMan IO. They don't currently offer it. Is it coming? Like I said, all I can tell you is they said ongoing development on the unit. So, but here's where things get really cool is these additional courses that they are uh, releasing you guys. So I wanted to just go over some of them because I'll throw this up on the screen so you guys can see it as well. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're including courses that I think people are really gonna care about. You know, Glen Abbey, Liberty National, Quail Hollow, The Concession, Firestone. I mean, those are all some really cool US Canada courses um, that are available, St. George's in Canada. But not only that, you have tons of AA or A courses, all right, like Sea Islands in there, TPC Colorado. I mean, there's a great list, but on top of that, they've got ones in Australia, Japan, Abu Dhabi, uh, the Bahamas, you know, all, all over the place. And then there's, they're also even including three par threes and then also a nine hole course as well. I mean, Switzerland, France, Turkey. I mean, they're really giving you a well-rounded list of courses in that home package. So I wanted to share that list with you guys because I know it was really important news to a lot of people. They're asking about more courses. Will we be getting them with home? Well, guess what? You've already got them. 
and then they're talking about obviously continue the development in that package as well. So important things to understand. Um, so for those of you that are shopping, you know, home versus complete, I think that it's just important to, to understand your use. What are you using the unit for? All right. Now, if you want to just kind of work on game improvement, you know, swing on the range, you're going to have that video to kind of get a gauge if you're coming from outside in or inside out or what the club's doing um, and you want to play golf. I think that unit is plenty for most people. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I think that if you were to take the average user and give them club data, they might say, well, this is what's wrong, but they don't know how to change their swing. So unless you're really getting instruction on top of that club data, you may not really be able to utilize it. So, you know, you can save yourself a lot of money and you could play a lot of courses um, and just go with the home, home version. Um, on top of the complete version, there is a commercial license that's available for those of you looking to do commercial. Um, like I said, you have this uh, access to this backend software that basically allows you to manage bookings and things along those lines. You really want to sit down with a rep and go over all that if that's something you want to do. But um, I mean, this is big news, and I hope that you know this is really broken down everything for you guys. What's the difference between you know the two, the functionality of each of them? Um, I had a lot of people that thought that home might you know not not get the same like golf function but it does you know you get full on course play I mean you're gonna be able to go out and do everything from like I said the putting and chipping and everything it's all there so um, if you guys have any questions I encourage you to email me I'll put it in the description and pin to the top of the comments and then I want you to comment your thoughts your questions your feedback you know, TrackMan reads comments. All these OEMs always read comments on the videos. So uh, I encourage you guys, you know, to uh, leave a comment below, even if you have feedback or anything along those lines. Um, it's all greatly appreciated. Now, I just appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate, appreciate the suggestions, you know, for a video like this. Um, feel free to leave any other ones down in the comments, and I'll see if I can get to those as soon as possible. As always, guys, stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.